Hello everybody, this is Bill Williams. Welcome to another Trahan Creek Outdoors video. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon, Memorial Day weekend, and it's time to get ready to do some grilling, some fire pit grilling. Now, if you don't have a fire pit and you need one, here is a great do-it-yourself project using dry stacked brick. That's coming up next, so stay tuned. A dry stacked brick fire pit is very simple. All you really need is bricks and your labor, and it goes pretty quick. You can probably do this project if you got your bricks gathered in about 45 minutes time maybe. This is where I stand with it right now. I'll show you how we got to this point and what to do to get there, and all I'm doing is finishing it on out for the camera. If you'll notice, we have the first course laid, the second course laid, and then the third course laid, and we're now on the fourth course of the bricks. I think you can see those pretty clearly here. Ideal pattern is to lay two in one direction, and the next time you come across with the next course, lay the two in the opposite direction. It doesn't always work out because I don't have consistent bricks in terms of size, age, quality, or anything else. This is just a jumble of collected bricks. And you have to make do sometimes, but they will work. Don't worry about it if your bricks aren't all perfectly matched or of different kinds. It'll work out just fine doing it this way. Okay, so as you notice, this fourth course is a bigger, thicker brick, and it's all going in the same direction. Not preferable, but we're coming on up with at least two more courses, so it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. The weight of the brick is what holds them in place. And if you'll notice how I did this ledge part here, you just slide, uh, in this case, three bricks forward toward the interior, leave about an inch and a half, maybe two inches overhang, enough so you'll have a place to put the lower grill. This is a two tier grill. It will have a lower and an upper grill, which is very handy. Sometimes the fires die down a little bit. You need to use the lower grill. Other times it's roaring a little hotter for whatever reason, and the upper grill is best. Or the upper grill can just be used to keep things warm while you're cooking on the lower grill. We'll show you how that works when we get to the end. Let me show you another refinement that helps a little bit. I have here two draft holes. These are just taking a half brick, turning it the way that you see it in the middle, and therefore leaving a little bit of air space on both sides so that combustion air can get down to the fire a little bit better. Now, if you'll notice, I have a sheet of metal at the bottom of mine, which I had from somewhere salvaged. You don't have to put a sheet of metal. You could have it on concrete. You could even make a layer of bricks down up under there and it will work fine. But mine is up off of the patio concrete a couple of inches. I like that because it protects the concrete from being uh, just overheated and stress cracked and things of this nature. So um, do what you want to do on that, but that's a suggestion I would make is uh, use a raised platform a little bit off of the bottom for your floor. Also makes clean out real easy when you got a sheet of, of metal. You just sweep the ashes out the front and throw them away. All right, let's go on up with the rest of the uh, courses. I'm going to finish laying out this course and uh, go on up with the next one, and you can see what it's going to look like. Let me mention what you need in terms of materials. The number of bricks needed for this particular size fire pit um, is 16 per course. And we're going, we're already on our fourth course and we're going two more courses higher. So it will be six courses high when it's completed 
times 16 bricks, and that's what, 96 bricks? And if you need your fire pit higher, just go on up another course or two. It's basically up to you. Um, I sit on a little bucket stool back there and grill, and it works just fine for me at this height. But if, as I say, if you wanted it higher, if you wanted the bottom shelf higher, all you got to do is add as many courses and do the construction pattern just like you see here. Now, um, let's move on with setting a couple of bricks just so you can see what we're doing here. We're just putting them in the place where they need to go. Where's my other brick? Back here, I think. Always does move around on me. But anyway, the bricks will, bigger bricks will not fit as precisely as we'd like them to. Let's see. So what we're going to do here is substitute these and move them over to the side like this and this. And then we'll use a couple of different bricks in there for the uh, other parts. Maybe these right here. Something like that. Now let me even these up a little bit and we'll go on with the next course. All right, guys, our dry stack grill project is now complete. Let's show you how it works. You have a lower grill, just goes in place like that, and that's really close to the fire. So if you have a heavy duty fire going, that's probably not where you're gonna be grilling. But if the coals have died down, that might be where you do wanna grill. But anyway, then you have an upper grill this one that just lays in place at the top and that is probably where you'll do a lot of your grilling or at least you'll keep food to warm up here so it's a two-layer project uh, it's complete at this point a very easy thing to do so if you don't have a grill and you want a grill just go get yourself let's just say a hundred bricks in case you break a couple bricks and get busy and build you one if you don't like where this one is, you can move it somewhere else. So it's not permanent. You don't have to have fire brick. You don't even have to have uh, matching brick. All you got to have is a brick, period. That's it. Does it work? Yes, works fine. I built the same grill in two or three locations where I've owned houses, and uh, it's worked for me for years. I don't even care to have a permanent fireplace necessarily because you have to leave it behind if you sell your house and move. I'm a real estate broker. I may sell my house and move. That's just part of life. But anyway, all right, we're about ready to light up the fire if we can with this bogus match that we're using. And hope for the best here. Hope we'll get a little bit of combustion going on gonna need to feed it so let me get busy doing that and we'll get back in a right. minute now you can see the fire's going pretty good here i am using hardwoods this is actually a wood fire just like at a campfire or a campsite park or something of that nature it is not charcoal i like the taste that real oak or other hardwoods give uh, the flavor it gives to the meat that you're cooking so today we'll be cooking chicken primarily might throw something else on there i don't know but uh, as you can see flames get way over the grill even six courses high which is why i say that for a while at least until it burns down and produces some good coals you may actually be grilling on the top grill if you're in a hurry i'm not in a particularly big hurry i've got gardening work to do so we'll just feed this fire a while let it build some good coals and in about an hour, we'll slip some food on there. All right. If you don't have one of these, make yourself one. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's cheap. In fact, I didn't pay a penny for anything I have here. Every bit of it was salvaged. The bricks just came from various locations on my property where once upon a time, the city did some construction and used some bricks in their construction. Just had some leftovers, and I just collected them up. Um, the barbecue grills that I have several of come from worn out old commercial grills that uh, rust out and everything else. Don't buy one of those. Make yourself a good brick, 
Um, they, they'll last you. The brick will last you. The commercial, you'll go through three or four of those things in the course of time and just waste your money. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, I ask you to please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. If you are a subscriber, I thank you very much for everything you do for me and my channel. Appreciate you a lot. I'll see you on another video. Thanks for watching.